It was the worst nuclear meltdown since Chernobyl, and the Fukushima Daihachi nuclear plant's problems are still being felt across the world and now in our local coastal ecosystems. They collected kelp tissues, they sent them up and had them analyzed at Berkeley and found that, yeah, we are detection limits in the, the, the process that we do this are sufficient to detect elevated levels of radionucleotides. What scientists have found are trace amounts of cesium, the specific type of nuclear waste that was pouring into the Pacific Ocean 5,300 miles away from the California coast. Things are linked a little bit more closely than sometimes we'd like to think. Just because it's on the other side of the world doesn't mean that it doesn't affect us. Now, 50 scientists across the Pacific coast of South, Central, and Northern America are gearing up to do an intense study on the kelp bed's nuclear levels. We're trying to figure out how much is there and how much is getting into the ecosystem. Dr. Edwards says because kelp is such a hardy and fast-growing plant, it makes for a perfect barometer of health for the critical ecosystem. Kelps take things up from their environment and actually can be used as a proxy for what's in the environment. Professor Edwards believes they will find trace levels of cesium across most of the coasts of the Americas, but it's the pools of cesium he's most worried to find. Even at its highest concentrations, I don't expect it still to be um, of concern for, um, for society or for the fisheries.